So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the three best, well, three auths that you should highly recommend. Now, on the thumbnail, it shows a specific order, but these auths are not set up in any order from worst to best or best to worst. It's just how I did it. Um, I'm going to just talk about them, explain what they bring, and how they could possibly benefit you. So first off, we're going to start off with... Kioth. Now, Kioth is a pretty good auth actually. Um, comes in multiple different languages. You can buy three different plans, well, actually two, and I will show you that real quick. You have your free plan, which is, you know, anything you would actually expect from a free auth. Then you have your $10 plan, you know, docs, example for C++, C Sharp, Python, Rust, PHP, VB, unlimited keys, you got file uploads, reseller system, um, and then you got your $20 plan. I personally had the $20 plan just because if I'm using an auth, I like to take the full advantage of everything. Um, only difference between these two really is you get your seller API in Discord bot. Trust me, it really does come in handy. Big difference between these two. But jumping into it, above your C, it would like take you to the Discord. You can come in, view your account logs, account settings, log out, tells you everything right here. Starting with your licenses, you can create your key, come up with the amount, the mass, level. You can even set a note for the license. You can have expiry unit, however you want to set it, and then, you know, yeah. You can import your keys, you know, same way, format, key, level. You can also compensate your keys. So you can decide how much longer you want to add to a specific key. And download all your keys, delete all your keys, delete all the expired keys, which is pretty useful. Hardware reset all keys and delete all unused keys, as well as copy, CSV, Excel, PDF, and print. Now, if I'm coming over here, you can search an individual key. Now, for some reason, I have a lot. Okay, so here we go. Search it up. There it is. Manage your key, delete it, reset it, ban, unban, pause, and unpause, or just edit it in general. Over here you have your users. If it loads. Now the site really isn't this slow, just my connection. Also, for the secret on everywhere, you can change it, delete it, pause it, or refresh it. I currently don't have any users, but you know, copy, CSV, all that fun stuff. You can set up your subscriptions. Name anything you want in the level of your sub. Same thing down here, it will put there. I'll test that level. Now I have a sub. Delete it, edit it, however you feel like you want to do with it. You have your webhooks. My webhooks are already set because, yeah, just set your endpoint and then you use your agent. Real easy, real simple. Files. Files are real easy. You can create your files, delete your files, and copy it. Basically, what you're doing is you will upload a file that you want your users to be able to download from your application. So if I uploaded something here, it will pop up here, and then they would be able to download it from the application. Same thing, delete and edit. Variables, everyone's favorite. I don't have any bars, but same thing. Real easy to set up, and we're just going to add a random value of one for whatever reason 
and it should be the same thing just delete and edit you have your logs if you set logs up it will basically tell you everything that's happening inside your blacklist self-explanatory if you black someone it's gonna you know come here set their IP address or the hardware ID and then set the data settings this is everything that is for you know your tool and set the status hardware lock version download webhook reseller you have custom messages so for example if the app is disabled you can change it to whatever you want and then it'll just go back to default if you don't want to use anything Our account you can create your accounts reseller manager for the applications you're using which mine is called networking create the username email and the password associated easy way you can come over here and upgrade if you would like to tester developer or seller I already have it so it will tell you that you already have it more settings My owner ID obviously I will change this <laughs> but um I have dark mode enter my password profile image if you link your discord um, when you go into the discord it will give you a roll of whatever you have seller developer etc um, again I'm changing this so don't try and do anything with it and then for seller settings itself seller key all that fun stuff easy that is pretty much key off you know real simple um i would show the discord but it's kind of um private messages i don't want to show it now of course with every auth there are some downsides to it um key auth however does have some downtime it's not frequent it may happen once every week if that and there was something that just just happened to kiosk so i do have to be honest about it um the database was leaked however it was not hacked okay the owner tried to put trust into someone and that person decided to abuse their power um you know safety precautions were put in line and the owner did do a good job of fixing the situation telling people what they can do to protect their you know privacy and it was all fixed all set so overall key auth is a pretty good auth if you're interested uh, again i'm not telling you which one's the best which one's the worst it's your opinion now over to fusion fusion api real simple setup okay um first of all when you come in it tells your account balance your users your application and your band users you can create a new app come over here set up your billing or your settings this it can also go over to your discord logout now fusion api isn't so much set up highly as compared to key auth site but again it's just a website now if we go over here to my panel i will tell you how many apis i have how many users the total users and the total apis i'm using um let me see at the config API management and registration and generate your tokens export as text export as JSON API management and you know just to make it fair just like that now before you guys say anything you did notice similarities between you know fusion API and key auth now again honesty is a big thing so key auth did you know use fusion api's loading screen um, landing page so uh, we go down here it's a little bit different now i do have to say that this auth does have chat rooms okay and so all your long search of how can i talk to people and implement chat rooms or you know public announcements in real time this is chat rooms you know come in you know you don't need a ip anything to get it you just log in and send your messages it's really easy same with the api protection and universal all off you know uh, however the prices are a bit different um 
with Keoth, as I forgot, Keoth, if you purchase your key, it will only give you a year. However, you have your seven days money back guarantee if you don't like it within the seven days. Um, as of Fusion, you have four different ones with the starter plan, three APIs, 12 user chat rooms versus the eight APIs, 80 user chat rooms. Whatever one you use, you're gonna get chat room, by the way, it just takes up your response from the support team or um, users and APIs. Um, same thing, 15 and 30, um, same thing. Little differences, um, I was talking to the owner and the main thing that he was saying was that the biggest difference is the customized features and how much attention you actually get from the support. Um, this, however, they, I believe it is set up monthly. So if you get a $30 plan, you're gonna have to pay monthly for it. There are lifetime plans, but those are like hundreds it can range anywhere from $100 and up for lifetime plans. Um, but again, don't hate on it. Even though it is a little bit pricey, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Same with Keyoff. Now, last thing is AuthGG. Soon as you log in, you're going to get this. So you all the applications that you're using, you can create an application down here. You can upgrade. I am already upgraded premium. You can come over to the community and really not what you think, but it will tell you the people with the most users. That's pretty cool. And you also have a little chat box down here. You have your resources, which are going to come in handy for your universal API doc, your C sharp, native C++, PHP, Python example, and your misc. Pretty sure your miss are just hash checker yeah you have your panel logs i'm probably not going to open this up because i don't feel like blurring out everything and then you can uh, create support tickets and new tickets now if i go back over to the application and give it some good time to load I will just click on oh before that you can um, see if it's banned the status of it manage it you have your action of deleting pause it or you can renew it um, but I'm just gonna go to my panel Again, the sites won't take this long to load up. It's honestly just my connection. Now, as soon as you get in here, it's going to load up your application and basically tell you your portal. So on this one, I have 24 unused keys and three used keys. I was testing this a lot, so that's why. Uh, four users, it would tell you where to go if your users want to, you know, change anything, view anything. Tell you your tickets, panel updates, all that you can manage the users and the licenses uh, you can change your variables and your logs and then you can also do your settings and your access now of course I'm probably not going to click on users but the licenses you can change the amount length prefix level custom of days the duration and you can even change the format now going back up Data, you have your VARs, same, easy, test it, variable, nice, and your logs, probably not going to open that either. Uh, settings, tells you your portal, hardware reset, cooldown days, which is pretty cool, and description of the application. You have your application mode, login, register, free mode, web mode. Hardware ID check and integrity check. Also, at the runtime, so this anti debug does not work. 
and security as well as updates in the bottom. That's pretty much it for it. Now, obviously, each one has their ups and downs, okay? Key off being good, um, especially with, you know, uptime, probably more uptime than most auths. However, Fusion does have good uptime as well. Auth GG does have some downtime though, um, more than you probably want. Um, key off has good staff, you know, if you ever need to create a ticket. Fusion API does have good staff as well. Um, Auth GG, honestly, I can't even talk about their staff because I'm not associated with them, with them as much um, and haven't talked to them for a whole lot. So their staff could be good, could be bad. Um, honestly, that's something you would have to figure out. Um, uh, let me see, Kiosk, its prices are good for what you're getting. Um, if you want a good auth and good prices, I would probably go with Kiosk. But again, that's your opinion. Um, auth GG has good prices as well, but little downtime, maybe good staff, maybe not good staff, it all really depends. Fusion API, good if you want chat rooms, that's a real good, I gotta give them a plus for that. Um, their setup is really easy as well. All of their setups are easy. Key Auth, Fusion API, and AuthGG. They're all easy setups. They all have tutorials on how to set them up. Um, and if not, some staff will help you, okay? If staff doesn't help with anything else, the one thing that all three of these alts can do is help you set it up. Um, but that's pretty much it. I would show their discords and how they function that or how to set up, but I'm probably going to do those in another video, probably all separate. Um, I really hope you did enjoy. Uh, I will leave the discord links and the websites for all three alts down in the description. So if you want to check them out, I highly recommend it if you're looking for anything good. Um, if there are any questions or anything, you know, feel free to comment down below. Uh, I'm pretty much associated with all of them, highly, except for Auth GG. Um, so really, if you have anything about Key Author Fusion, you can contact me. I'll probably leave my Discord down below as well. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you can find a good Auth.